Do we as fans influence what ownership does? No. What do you think? Uh, not at all. How do you say no? I think not at all because these guys have an agenda. Ownership and management has an agenda. And you know what? Honestly, people have given up on protesting. They don't protest politics. They don't protest sports. They don't protest anything. You know what's going to happen? Oh, what is that, the 19th? Yeah. Here, hold the sign. I'll show you what will happen. Hold that sign up. All right. Yeah. A couple of random guidos are going to be outside the garden saying, Dolan stinks. That's as much as you'll get. Kilroy. A, uh, uh, hey, like, it'll work. Five guys like hold you. Hold on. How many Guidos did you say? Nine. Nine? Well, nine will turn into 18, it'll double, and it'll triple, <laughs> and it'll grow. And before you know it, they'll be making some noise, and people will take notice. Let's not forget, the fans are the ones filling the stands, right? However, so if however, happening. then I think ownership should take notice. No if matter what. stop going, they're going to eventually take notice. No matter what, though. <laughs> people are going to the Knicks games. No matter what. I mean, right. tickets are still $100 minimum. Well, then, hey, I'll tell you what. If they continue this way, the people that are going to protest stop going. There's power in numbers, my friend. You know this. I just tell you. You if, know this. If that'll be as successful as Occupy Wall Street.